हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द्रेयर एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर हैविंग द टूडे कंसेप्ट अलॉन्ग विद क्वेश्चन सो क्या है कंसेप्ट डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बेसिक कंसेप्ट दैट आई एम गुड टू डिस्कस टूडे दैट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द श्रिंकेज अलाउंस ओके इन द कास्टिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ श्रिंकेज अलाउंस विद द क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट सी हियर ओके सो हियर here is the the slab or the block is given okay along with the internal hole in this slab is given okay dimensions are here 200 150 hundred that is this is the length width and height is given and internal bore is there internal hole is there of 80 mm diameter right now dear students when we talk about the shrinkage allowance so shrinkage allowance so please remember that the shrinkage allowance that is generally most of the metals are going to shrink during the cooling okay and to compensate the shrinkage we are actually providing some extra dimension onto the pattern right and that that is nothing but the shrinkage allowance here when we are applying the shrinkage allowance on the external dimension as well as on the internal dimension very important thing dear students so please remember that whenever we are actually applying the shrinkage allowance it may be in terms of mm per meter okay or it may be in terms of percentage over dimension no any issue so we have to actually whenever the material is going to shrink it may be the external dimension it may be the external dimension like this length width or this height okay not only this external dimension is going to shrink but dear students this internal dimension for example this bore is also going to shrink okay towards the center of this circle okay that means what not only this external dimension are going to shrink because of the shrinkage but the internal dimensions are also going to shrink and that is the reason why dear students we have to whichever the materials which they are shrinking during the solidification during the cooling we are going to provide the positive shrinkage allowance and some of the materials are exception for this particular when talk about the bismuth which actually expand during the solidification in that case we are having the negative shrinkage allowance but the positive shrinkage allowance okay we are going to provide both on external dimension also going to shrink as well as this internal dimension also are going to shrink towards the center so positive shrinkage allowance we are going to provide please understand there is no such a thing that the you know, the bore is given with the negative shrinkage allowance or this external dimension are given with the positive shrinkage allowance both the dimensions external or this internal dimensions we are going to provide the positive shrinkage allowance let us take this example here the dimensions of this slab with this internal bore is given length 200 by 150 by 100 these are the external dimensions and bore is there of 80 mm diameter so what is given here they are saying that this shrinkage allowance is 21 mm per meter that is on 1 meter on 1 meter the shrinkage allowance will be 1 mm that is say 1 mm over 1000 mm right okay fine so here just what we are going to find out we are going to find out the dimensions okay of the pattern when we are providing the shrinkage allowance on it isn't it so shrinkage allowance kya hoga length ke liye if i take the length then the width and then the height okay and of course the bore is there so bore phi is there okay then the length is how much 200 so 200 okay this shrinkage how much given 21 mm per minute okay and suppose say this 21 mm per minute is taken for the steel or say is taken for this even you take the white cast iron cast iron say around 20 to 21 mm per minute meter is the shrinkage allowance right so is 200 plus how much it is 200 into this 1 mm 1 mm that is 21 mm divided by 1000 okay because 21 mm over 1 meter that is over 1000 mm how much it is so it will be say 200 200 plus this <coughs> 21 divided by 5 so it will be around 4.20 something okay this is the shrinkage allowance so 200 plus this 4.20 if i say then i will get this length of the pattern that is 204.2 mm like that go for the width width will be how much 
so width is 150 so 150 plus 1 on this the shrinkage allows 21 mm per meter so it is 21 mm over 1 meter is 1000 okay that will be around say this this calculation if you do it will be around around 3.20 so it will be 150 plus 3.20 it will be 153.20 and finally the height will be how much 100 plus this 100 on this 121 mm per meter it will be how much how much 2 point of course yes 2.1 okay 2.1 will be this shrinkage allowance so 100 plus this 2.1 it will be 102.1 okay so these are the linear dimensions this is the length okay by providing the shrinkage allowance this is the width and this is the height and finally if i talk about the bore so bore will be again it is going to shrink it is not going to expand so 80 plus it is only one time we have to provide 80 plus 20, 80 into 21 divided by 1000 so it will be around 1.70 okay 1.70 it is around value of this 1.70 so in totality the final diameter of this bore after provision of shrinkage allowance it will be 21.70 and now you can easily calculate the volume of the pattern that is this volume of the slab that is product of these three minus it is cylindrical both there that is pi by 4 this d square this 81.70 square okay into height is how much after provision of uh, shrinkage allowance it is 102.1 so simply you can calculate the volume or if they are asking the ratio of the volume of pattern to the volume of casting simply you can do the calculation and find out the value for that ratio right so very easy dear students shrinkage elements only thing is that even though it is the external dimension or the internal dimension we are going to add when the material is shrinking no doubt when material is expanding we are going to give the negative shrinkage elements okay thank you so much dear students